What have they done to Obi-Wan? Why? I, I, what have they done to Star Wars? This is a reaction to Obi-Wan Kenobi on his trailers. I am Jeffy and here we go. It's gonna be good. Now that George Lucas cashed out and Disney turned the franchise into FIFA with lightsabers, <laughs> open wide as they okay. took another hunk of content down the rancor pit of Disney Plus. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's how it, that's what it was. That's what it was. It's actually pretty tasty. Are you sure? Obi Wan Kenobi doesn't look tasty. Looks. You it looks very cheap. Han Solo turned into a broke divorced dad. Yep. You had to watch Luke Skywalker become a gross recluse. Yep. Now it's Obi Wan <laughs> Kenobi's turn to go down bad. Oh and yeah. His legend from the prequels yeah. and original trilogy and yeah. Clone Wars. Yeah. Becomes a sad fishmonger who everyone yep. knows like Anakin on Beach Day. Yes. You seem kind of old and. Up. The years have made you weak. And the next nine years are gonna suck even more. Oh yeah. Prepare for a show that reminds you how great the prequels were when they're cut down to a three minute recap montage and cheer as the best part of those films returns. Obi-Wan. Hello, Dex. Follow along on the celibate religious man's new mission. Stare at a 10 year old boy all day. Go ahead and take a seat. Take a seat right over there. What are you doing here? Hello there. <laughs> that's, so, that's, little princess, that's just bad. To another that's castle, just bad. Obi will have to save a Skywalker for the upteenth time, even though he's forgotten his super speed. Yep. That's very convenient. Forgotten very convenient. How, work, how old are you? And forgotten how to hide, like, at all. Hey, uh, you gonna change your last name, buddy? Maybe yeah, you, you should. Hair? You should. Know. Yeah. Stop wearing Jedi robes? Yep. That's not an improvement. You look like Vincent Adult Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thrill at the latest That's very of Star yeah. Wars Babies, Leia Edition. Mm. Vivian Blair shines as a young princess with more sass than Carrie Fisher if she were actually born into royalty. If mm. anyone asks, you're my daughter. Granddaughter, maybe. What? Nothing. Blink up. That was very cringe. Yet another round of Grumpy Warrior gets a cute, sassy kid to safety. But hey, if it ain't broke. Don't fix it. Hello there again, Ewan. Meet a galaxy's worth of supporting characters, some of whom don't even live on Tatooine. <gasps> like a guy who puts the mid and midichlorians. So judgmental. An Imperial officer who's not like those other Imperials. She feels bad about it. I joined up when the Empire stood for something. <laughs> I made some mistakes. <laughs> And evil, twisted villains like modern Star Wars fandom. If you're sending her brilliant <laughs> messages, oh no, no Star Wars. That's, yeah, I remember Riva, that. A wow. youngling who never finished her grooming. Dude, that was so bad. That was so bad. Wow, uh, cringe. Loud again, school of villainy. Tell me where the Jedi is. What makes you think he won't see it coming? Send out the probes. Do it. Nobody's coming. You can't run Obi Wan! And he's locked. <laughs> and of That's course, so bad. Darth Vader, who's now literally a mix of man and machine. Hayden Christensen kills it in a dual role as both the guy in the Big D suit and as Anakin in his seventh senior year at Jedi Academy. He'll give us fresh <laughs> insight into Vader's law. He looks of very old there, yeah. And show us what really turned Annie to the did, dark they side. They didn't even do it. You need to prove yourself as your undoing. The aging. Until you overcome it, a Padawan you will still be. So, to prove himself worthy of being a Jedi, Anakin had to try his hardest to stop trying so hard to prove himself worthy of being a Jedi? 
Okay, this seems makes sense now. So enjoy the weird new middle ground of Star Wars that looks bad for a movie, but good for a TV show. Too short oh, for yeah, a series, yeah. but too long for a film. Yeah. Incredible lightsaber duels, but rinky dink sets. Mm -hmm. This bad. You could, could you could just go around it. You could just go around it. That easy. But drops enough breadcrumbs to launch a rogue squadron <sighs> worth of future Star Wars content. Just getting started. I think I had a brother. I think I've just found out what they're hiding down here. Okay, none of those Jedi are actually dead. Disney just Jurassic Park them until it's their turn for a show. Yep, yep. Starring Gentle Ben. Problem child. Oh yeah. That's what I love about these younglings, man. I get older, they stay the same age. Neon Genesis, Revangelion. I don't like sand snakes. They're coarse and rough and irritating. He doesn't even go here. Hashtag yeah, justice for hat. We only <laughs> sell moisture here. Where are the Jedi? <laughs> Round back? Whoops. Whoop. Hold my Beiru. What I got, I gotta give it to Ariva. Cool male nun Jedi. Nice cube. Ice cube. And the one lesson Disney can't afford to learn. It's the past. Move on. Be done with it. <laughs> it's the same thing. Like the last Jedi. Same thing. Oh, wow. Well. So, Reva's plan was to work her ben way her. to Grand Inquisitor, then just try to stab Darth Vader in the back? <laughs> Probably so gonna see bad. that one coming. It's literally the only way Sith get promoted. Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? In another life, I would have loved doing laundry and taxes with you. This yep. time, it's gonna take more than killing me to kill me. <laughs> all right all right yeah that that was good that was really good this show had a lot of potential and i was very excited to see it but i personally did not like obi-wan kenobi the show was terrible i was that excited to see it i've, I've seen the trailer i have reacted to the trailer again <laughs> that's young luke stay hidden yeah, he's always watching. <laughs> what? Whoa. The key. Whoa. Jedi. And I have also talked about it to many people that I that I know because I was excited to see that show before it even came out. Before I knew what I was getting into. Until I saw what I was getting into and I did not like it one bit. There were scenes where it would have been amazing, it would have been great. Like that fight scene, like the Darth Vader confrontation with Obi-Wan Kenobi, but then it was so lackluster. You know which scene I'm talking about. Don't get me started on Reva. Reva's story would have only made sense if she was only in three episodes and killed off by a Grand Inquisitor or by Darth Vader. Obi-Wan Kenobi escaped so many times for the stupidest things that Darth Vader would have killed for less, but he still let her live. So I was not really invested in Reva's character at all. Leia's character, Leia was just... I have nothing against the child actor, I have nothing against the child actor because she's just a child, she's just acting. But you cannot have the same adult character in a child character. You cannot have that. You can't. It just doesn't make sense. On the other hand, you can't really make sense because this is just fantasy, it's sci-fi, right? But there is such a thing as good writing. This show definitely does not have that. You just have to turn off your brain and enjoy it, I guess. Because if you want to enjoy it, you'd have to turn your brain off. Otherwise, you'd be cringing throughout. You'd be pointing out so many faults in this series. Like this scene, for example. He could have gone around. They could have gotten around it. You didn't have to shoot that. I was really rooting for Obi-Wan Kenobi before the show came out. Even the trailer was misleading. If you remember my reaction to the trailer of Obi-Wan Kenobi, there was this music number that came out, Duel of the Fates. 
which brought back memories of the third episode of Star Wars. There was none of it in this series. There were so many opportunities for the Duel of the Fates to be included in this show. It was laughably bad, especially that scene with the trench coat. It's just, I don't know, I just... Who is writing these shows? Get Dave Filoni back here. I don't know, remake this series. Rant over. This Honest Trailers was great. I enjoyed it. Want to watch more of these Honest Trailers as I usually do. Make sure to check out one of these videos. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below on your thoughts. And see you in the next video. Adios.